Okay, welcome back. Um, we're now going for episode three uh, of Airport CEO, and this one is is a main focus on baggage systems. Anyone who's actually got to this stage or played for a game um, has maybe felt the frustration of the baggage system and how to get it actually working. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to do baggage systems simple. We're just going to do a very simple baggage system. So the first thing we need to do, press tab, open up your contracts, go to procurement, and scroll down until you find the baggage handling services and unlock now. 20 hours until completed, so I'll see you in 20 hours. Okay, welcome back. So now when we press procurement, it's been 20 hours and we scroll down, the bag baggage handling services are now unlocked. So when you open up your items and you scroll down in the items, you'll now see two new buttons um, that will allow you. So that's a baggage belt and the, the baggage bay. So the first thing we're going to do is actually build your baggage bay. So we need to actually open up the foundations again. And I want you to actually create a nine by nine foundation. Now it could probably be a little bit smaller um, but a 9x9 nine nine works, so we'll stick with 9x9. Nine nine. Well, remembering, we actually want to make this simple. We'll get the, the guys to start building that. Now at the same time, while they're building that, we want to start building um, a service road to get to it. So we'll just get the service road, pick it in the middle, and straight up. So they can start working on that. Now here's a tip that I actually found is you have to actually build a room to make the baggage bay or the cargo bay. But once you've built the room, you don't have to physically have doors. So a tip that I'd have for making a simple baggage bay is once you've actually built it, then grab your bulldozer and just remove the walls. Then you're not going to have turning problems, you're not going to have, or you're not going to have maybe areas where they get stuck in there. So they will just start removing the walls. Next thing you'll do is you go back to the items and actually grab your actual baggage bay itself. So turn it around so it's actually facing and you want to place it in the middle of your in your baggage area there so just drop it into the middle and they will build that whilst they're building it we can now start on the the actually baggage belt so let's scroll in a little bit now when you're building the baggage belt you've got overground and underground belts Overground belts obviously are the ones that uh, you can actually see on the surface similar to these ones here The underground belts are used for going underneath roads and underneath uh, walls And we will use both of these when we're actually building the uh, The uh, the area So the first thing we're actually going to use is the the baggage belts uh, Overground so we're going to go down and do the overground belts now once again for simplicity I want to do less as as little amount of turns as I can do. So this is actually probably a little bit of an overkill, but I'm going to run the baggage belt directly along the wall here. And then I'm going to stop it on the side. So that's the overground belt. Rotating it slightly make sure you look at your arrows and then I'm actually going to move this one up to there this one to here okay then when we come in we might as well do them all on on the same side the other ground I'm actually going to come in through here and run it straight to the inside so the top side of your baggage compartment right click 
open it up and now we're going to build our underground belts and that is just simply done by running it like so until you join if you want to see how your belts are running just open up your conveyor belts and you can check the arrows to make sure all the arrows are facing the right way okay as we said this one is just to be made simple now we're going to run it back exactly in the opposite direction because we're going to create a conveyor belt for them to pick up on the other side of the security area so let's create that first once again above ground belts and we're just going to create ourselves a little bit of a circle here so they can actually come and and pick up their uh, their bags so like so like so and there we go a nice little round circle we're just going to have a little bit of a compartment going up um, because I'm going to double this up a little bit later in as we grow our, uh, our let's play so that's going to go in like that and that's going to be going like that and there we go I think that's a good little conveyor belt for them to come in so above ground to the side now converting to an underground Turning that down, it's actually achieved what I wanted because I've got a, a gap in the wall. Underground to there. And then we're going to run out underground all the way across until we match up. Once again, let's have a look at our conveyor belt and make sure the arrows go all the way in the right direction. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The next thing I would strongly suggest is because your staff move and we haven't employed uh, our staff yet um, is just to put a couple of doors so just to put the structures give yourself a let's say a medium door you do not need to worry about security at this stage so just place a door here you don't need a door on the other side um, build yourself a little bit of a sidewalk not that you're crossing the road and that will allow your staff to transfer without having to walk all the way around and therefore wasting a little bit more time. And I'm just going to close that wall. Okay, so we're talking about staff, so let's now employ our staff. So what I would recommend is for the baggage compartment, um, that you actually have four baggage handlers so let's just order those baggage handlers go into the staff employees 
filter down till we get to ramp agents and hire oh, applicants and hire four more ramp agents and that should be sufficient to actually cover the ramp the next thing we need to do is go into the contracts procurement and the second one is a service truck so let's order that and that will give you um, takes about well it's already here so it will actually be driving in now we just want to tidy this up a little bit by they finish the building by completing the service road so put your infrastructure your service road and we just want to fill this in and this will allow the, the baggage car to come in and actually drive drive around on that service road the staff itself will um, easily walk on this area um, but they're not walking on the actual service road itself so that should be fine okay so when we go to our little hut here we should see no it's not here yet must be driving in there it is your little baggage compartments driving in so that's it we've got our staff we've got our baggage car and everything is set up. So now what we need to do is lock everything together. So this is an important step. So the first thing I would suggest is in the areas, you now have a baggage claim area. So highlight over your baggage claim. And turn that on. So you've highlighted that area. Next thing you want to do is you want to link all the baggage claim areas to your cargo bay. So the way you do this is click, connect baggage bay, and you connect it. Then the next thing you'll do is you'll click your, your um, click your baggage bay and you'll activate so it is turned on you can click the stand connect the baggage bay and connect so what we're going to do now is press tab and go to operations and we're now going to turn on the baggage handling system which will enable baggage handling available for the aircraft. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to connect the baggage. So click on the check-in desk, connect the baggage bay to the cargo bay, connect the baggage bay to the cargo bay, Operations bag link handy is on. Hit the activate button, and now everything is activated. So, just a quick recap on the final steps create a zone, connect check in desks connect, the stand, connect, activate the baggage bay, go to the operations and activate baggage handling system. Okay, so now that we've got a new aircraft, you can click on the stand and you can physically see that you've actually got now bag requests. So baggage unloading in progress and boarding not started so at this case here we don't have any baggage to be uploaded but we do have some baggage to be unloaded looking over to your left you've got your baggage uh, compartment coming 
you've got your baggage handlers making their way onto the stand and now you should actually have your baggage being unloaded if you zoom in you should see them actually loading the bags onto the baggage carts so thank you very much I hope this um, tutorial has actually helped you um, just to do baggage handling simply obviously you can make it far more complex but get the first one working once you've got the first one working then you can start getting creative so thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode bye